Scriptable objects are the backbone of scriptable sheets. To create a scriptable object, make a new c -sharp script. I've already created one called fruit. The fruit class should derive from scriptable object instead of mono behavior. We can remove the start and update methods as they aren't applicable here. Add system.serializable to make it detectable by scriptable sheets assembly search. Let's create a new enum called fruit category to help categorize our fruit objects. We can include things like apples, bananas, kiwis, and oranges. We're now ready to start adding properties to our scriptable object. We can include any properties like our fruit category enum, a string for the description, the color of the fruit, an integer for how much health the fruit restores, and a boolean to toggle whether the fruit is edible or not. These can be public or serialized properties that are serializable in the inspector window. Back in scriptable sheets, we still can't create a new instance of our fruit object. Navigate to the settings window and change the scan option to assembly. The assembly scan option is only necessary when creating the first instance of a new scriptable object. Next, select a folder to create our new objects. I've made a new folder called fruit. We can now create as many fruit scriptable objects as we'd like. When working with existing scriptable objects, we can use the default scan option, which does not require the system serializable attribute. Within scriptable sheets, we can edit all the public and serialized properties of the fruit scriptable objects. This includes editing the name, the enum category, the string, the color, the integer, and Boolean values. While we can do this in the inspector, scriptable sheets provides one convenient place to view and edit all our objects. These fruit scriptable objects can then be referenced in our scripts as we would a prefab, material, or any other asset. To learn more about scriptable objects, visit the official Unity documentation in the link below.